All right, we are live. It's working. Where's my sweater? Okay. Perfect. So Casey here with Hardworking Mom. Happy Monday to everybody. I'm going to be painting our welcome-ish <laughs> door hanger kit. I am really excited about this one. Uh, I think this one's gonna be really cute. I already have like an vision for how I want this to go. So hopefully my vision will come clear. So um, this kit's really fun. Um, when we designed this one, I said that I wanted the lines um, to be etched in for those of us who were struggling to stay in lines. Um, so this line is burned in there laser it's not cut it's just like a little laser line burnt in there and it's on the top too so it's up here on the top and it's down here on the bottom now when I do uh, my lettering and thing like this I like to take tape and tape all my letters on here so that way when I go to lay them down I can make sure it's straight and then pull them off as I go so that's why I have the tape on those just make it easier when I paint it and so that way it doesn't move on me I'm going to be doing all the letters black. We're going to stain the top and the bottom brown and the center is going to be white. So let's get started. Hello, hello, hello. Wow, many of you are on here. Thanks for hopping on and watching paint night. It's so much fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do to make my stain is I got some brown paint here on my paper plate. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of water to it. And I have a wipey. Okay. Just add a little bit of water to it. I might have added just a little too much, but it might be okay. I think we're okay. Okay. And I just stir that around here. And then it looks like this. And it's going to create a stain and then I'm going to take my wipey and just dip it in there and I'm going to come straight down here and I am just going to wipe this on here and it's going to create that stain without having to buy expensive stain. Cool, huh? I'm just wiping this on there like this. A little bit goes a long way here with this. Okay, so there's our stain look. What kind of paint do I use? I use, um, I kind of do mixtures. Everything that I'm going to use is acrylic paint. Um, I, but I go back and forth between Delta Creative brand and Apple Barrel. Um, the one I'm using right now is uh, Melted Chocolate and it's Apple Barrel and it's Quick Dry, which is one of my favorites. I am using acrylic paint, yes. And you could use any paint that you realistically wanted to. When you go to the, if you ever go to the studio, Lori Studio, um, they have um, different. Well, I think it is still acrylic paint. Actually, when I think about it. I think it is still acrylic paint. Um, they just get it in the gal, the big gallons. But you could, you could use whatever paint you wanted. And it also, kind of depends too on like the area that you live in, with your heat and your elevation and things like that, or your weather and. Look like if you guys can withhold the elements and stuff. Um, I'm in Utah. Um, I don't have any problems, and I also seal this with a um, clear coat afterwards. That's why I never glue my pieces after I paint them with you guys. That's why I never glue my pieces because I've taken the. I need to still do the seal after, but I let them sit for 24 hours and then I seal. So I just use one wipey on this one. This one worked out really good. Sometimes I have to use two, because sometimes the wipey just soaks up a lot of paint. But it did not do bad. 
on this sound. Okay. And guess what? When you do it this way too, it dries really fast. So, hi Mary. Del I really do like Delta. I like Delta paint a lot. It's just kind of expensive. Um, I buy my whites and my black from Delta, uh, but uh, and they do they do have really pretty colors. Like, it, but it if you can catch it on sale at like Joann's, sometimes they have like the buy two get one free deal going on. If you can catch it like that, I think it's well worth it. But I don't I don't really want to spend five dollars on you know just a little. What how many ounces is this? Two ounces. So kind of just depends. So here's what it looks like. Oh, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Sorry, guys. All right. So here's what it looks like with the stains. Okay. The center, we are going to do white. So let's go ahead and grab our brush and come in and do the center. And this is white acrylic paint from Delta. Now I could do the wiping method here too if I really wanted to. Um, maybe we will. It might be faster. Cover these ends really good. Let's do it. Let's do the wiping method. been a good Monday. We got a lot of snow last night. Again, we just keep getting hammered, which we really need it, so I should not complain because we desperately need the snow, but man, I'm a, my depression's, I'm a seasonal depression girl, so when we have so many days of just dark and coldness, it makes it really difficult for me, so I really could use some sunshine. Now the white, because it is, let's see, I think this is, I think it's acrylic. I thought it was outdoor, but maybe it is both. I noticed that the white is a little bit diff more difficult to use with whiteies, which is kind of funny, because you wouldn't think it would be, but it kind of is. And if I was smart, I would have rolled this when we were before we got started. But I had so many requests to do this one live that I was like, okay, we'll just do it from start to finish. Now, if you had some acrylic paint and you had a roll brush, I would recommend rolling it. My brushes, I use Delta brushes from Amazon. I believe it's this brand. No, I'm sorry. These are top notch brushes. Top notch. Oh no. Yeah, we have so many. I think we hit like record levels this year with snow. I am not liking how this is looking. And for some reason the white bee is like peeling off on this. We'll just do a thin coat like this and then I'll come through with my brush and make it prettier. Okay. So we'll just go nice and soft. And not push down so hard. I need to remember that. Sometimes I forget that I push down too hard and I just need to go nice and soft with it. I don't need to press down very hard. I had to go live earlier tonight because it's getting too dark. You guys can't see me. It's so weird that how dark it gets in the front of my house. That, and I don't think I've ever noticed it until I started trying to go live in my office. And I'm like, oh, I can't. 
You can have it. <laughs> That's funny. Talking about the snow. I can have all the snow. I don't want any more. Please take some. It's so cold today. It was only, um, let's see, 7 a.m. I think it was like four degrees outside. I thought they did a two hour delay start today for school and I misread the news posting and it was for only a certain school in our area. So I feel bad because I was like, oh, you guys got a two hour delay. Nope, they did not. Michigan, doesn't Michigan usually get a lot of snow? Like, isn't that, like, doesn't Michigan usually get, like, tons of snow? Kind of like what they're known for. There's, like, a lot of snow. Or my career is in a different place. Maybe I'm thinking of Minnesota. Minnesota gets a ton of snow. Now, because my letters are going to be black, I need to make sure that this white is even because it'll stand out against those black letters, right? So I have to make sure that my white is white and nothing is seeping through. Here's a look of what my paint looks like. So Delta Creative. I got this one at Joann's. It was on coupon, like I had told you guys before. It was buy two, like buy two get one, buy one get the second one for half off or something. And so I usually try and watch the ads when the paint's on sale, and then I go in and scoop it up. And the only ones I buy the big bottles of is black and white and grays, any gray color, because those are the ones I use the most. I think I use black and white on every single project I do for little accents and things like that too. Finishes. Trying to stay right in with that line. It's gonna be black, so realistically, if I go over it just a little bit, it's all right. But I'm trying to stay at my best, so that way I can see it. live in Utah? Well, anytime you guys want to come over to Utah, anybody can come. I will show you the ropes. We can go in my side by side and pull the sleds.
One night it was snowing, so it was like winter. It was Christmas break or something like that, and for the kids, and um, or towards the end of Christmas break, and uh, it was snowing so good. It was like midnight, and the roads they didn't plot the roads yet. And my husband's like, "You want to be pulled on the sled?" And I said, "Really?" Because I like it's like my favorite thing in the world. And he's like, "Yeah, let's do it." It was like midnight, so we all like me, Kate, and Avery. I have two kiddos. Uh, we all put our snow stuff on and. We all went outside and played in the snow. Okay, hopefully that doesn't take too long to dry. I put a lot of paint on this part right here, but I just want it to look really nice. Nice and smooth. All right, let's pause there. Let's let this dry. We'll come back through and do our lines after this dries for a minute. Okay. So I'm just gonna set this guy over here and let him dry. All right, let's go ahead and paint our letters. Oops, sorry guys. Letters are all going to be black. No, you've never been there? Oh, okay. It's so fun. Yes, you can get this hanger inside the shop. I will post a link for you. Now, I'm doing it more of like a farmhouse style. You can definitely paint it however you like. Um, the farmhouse style is very popular where I live, so that's why I went with this style. Yes, I'm drinking coffee. Now, what would be really amazing is if I had a sponge. If you have a sponge, you can take, let me see, I have one of these. Now, I don't really like these ones as best because they kind of leave little air bubbles but if you have a sponge you can take a sponge and sponge your letters and it actually is faster like a makeup sponge is a lot better I just don't I have these ones from the dollar store they just leave air bubbles so I don't really like it as much with the air bubbles, but it does work really, really good. So see how fast I just did that with the sponge? So the dollar store has those really cheap, um, and it comes in a huge bag and they have little white ones. Um, that's where I would you get those like makeup sponges and you could do this. You can try this too, you're just gonna have to fight with those air bubbles, which sometimes can be a pain in the butt. in Utah, Lori, who is hardworking mom, Lori Jacobs, she's located in Lexington, South Carolina. And she's the one who makes these door hangers. She, they sent me so many, you guys, I have some really cute ones, so we'll have to decide what you guys want to do on the next one. We have a really funny one that says, yes, Amazon, this house again. I have some lake ones and beach theme. So I'm 
just going to show you guys how that finishes. So it's not too bad, right? Finish is pretty good. So much better than using a brush. I love this font she picked for this welcome. I like this H. It's really pretty. Sorry, I wasn't sure if you were new to the whole page. Lori is awesome. She's the best. She is so fun. up a little bit here and let that dry. I think we're going to go over it one more time and do one more coat. There's like my paint table here. I swear most of the time I try and clean it off and then it just, I just get, a lot of this is actually from the kids. Avery painted a cute bunny today. That's also from Lori Shop. It was so cute. All right. Okay, let's go back through and do one more coat on this guy. Some of the welcome, like some parts of the welcome, it just didn't catch it really well. So that's why I come back in and do another coat on it. Just to make sure we got everything.
It's a sponge. It's a polka dot sponger. Um, I'd rather use a makeup sponge, but this worked out okay. Um, and so what I did is I just go, come in and I take my paint. I twist it in here. I don't want any air bubbles, so I wanted to make sure that it was super, like there's a good amount of paint on here. And then I just dab it like this, like as if you were putting foundation on your face, you know. Um, and just dab it. Um, I want to avoid the air bubbles though, so let me see if I can show you guys up close, if you guys can see. So you guys can kind of see how that makes like some bubbles there. There's some bubbles on that. I don't want the air bubbles like that. So it's not my favorite to use these sponges. It's not my favorite because they have, um, it, they're just so easy to push down and make all the air come through. So not my favorite to do with these brushes, but the makeup sponges are great. This actually ended up working out really well. I just went really slow around it and made sure that there was no air bubbles on anything because those will be noticeable once they dry, if they dry like that. So, all right, let's check out our, yes, the tape, isn't that so fun? Lori taught me that when I went down to help her paint door hangers at the studio. I was like, there has to be a fun way that we cannot get our fingers all messy. And she's like, oh, use the tape. And I was like, what? It's like, oh my gosh, of course. That's so smart. All right, so here's our hanger. You can see it's still kind of wet here, so we're gonna do our best not to get my arm and sweater and all that in it. But we're gonna come through and paint our black line now. Remember that line is in there for us, it's etched out for us, so as long as you can do a straight line and have a light, nice hand, you should be able to follow that line straight across. You're so welcome. Thanks for asking questions. Now if you had a paint pen, you could use your paint pen to do this. You could possibly use a Sharpie. Hey, Kaden, I'm live on YouTube, buddy. I'm just live on something. Okay, just inside voices, please. Thank you.
trying to get really close to that line, guys. Sorry, I like sometimes I concentrate and I forget I'm not speaking. All right. So there's our line. Let's do this next one over here on this side. This is gonna be so cute. Do any of you paint door hangers or have you tried any of Lori's door hangers? So let me know. I wanna know which ones you tried. We had a lot of fun with that turquoise one last week. I swear, we have good days and bad days with that. <laughs> Today must be a good day. I like to think it's part of my brushes too. Like I train my brushes to go like work with I, I don't know I just when I I just practice so much I like before you before I would go live with you guys I um would buy the door hangers and just practice and practice and practice just because I really enjoyed doing them and I would use them for my own door and if I got lucky I might have a friend or two that was like oh that's really good I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna buy it so touch up a couple things really quick. We're going to touch up this white first. Now I'm coming in with my small one and a half brush. This is my favorite brush. If you've watched me before, I use this brush quite often. It's my favorite. This brush and the last brush I used, totally my favorites. 
and I'm getting really close to that black and cleaning up any white that should have not been covered okay and then right here I have like this little opening right here that we're going to come back through and push this up right here except for I need to switch it this way You okay? Okay. So you can kind of see. Now I could have easily taped those lines off too, and I you know, could have helped guide it too if I needed it to. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off. Hey Lori. I'm gonna rinse this off. Go back and fix some of that black. Okay. Make sure my brush is really clean. Can you see if I have any greenery in that closet downstairs? Yeah. Um, like eucalyptus leaves or something. Eucalyptus leaves? Yeah. Like koala seed? Huh? Like koala seed? No, the eucalyptus, they're like the, um... Yeah, eucalyptus leaves. Well, yeah. koalas eat. No. Yeah, koalas eat eucalyptus leaves. Oh, they do? Yeah. Did not know that. Can you check and see if I have yeah. any downstairs? Closet, right? Yeah, it would be in there or any greenery. Okay. I don't like how it covered right here, so we're just going to kind of go through this again. Hey, Emily. literally want to be right on that line so if there's any part of the line that's showing I am going to go through and fix it because that line is there and it's measured out already for me so that I know if I am not right on it then my line is not straight and that's gonna drive me bonkers No. No, that's mesh. Okay. I think I have some. It's just, um, I think I have some. Yeah. I stepped on something really, and it hurt really bad in there. I'm sorry. All right. Still pretty wet. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. All right, another sip of coffee. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I need ribbon is what I need. I should have brought some of that stuff up. Oh, okay. Let me see if I, let me grab some greenery really quick because I think this would be look really cute with some greenery. Greenery. What's greenery again? Just like picks and stuff. Yay. Can you go down and see if I have any farmhouse ribbon downstairs? Because uh this is for um I have no clue what that is. Any burlap or you know what my farmhouse ribbon looks like? I have no clue what farm farmhouse ribbon even is. I am failing you, child. Okay, sorry. I'm 
gonna have to go find ribbon. I wanted to make a bow for you guys, but I don't have any ribbon with me. Oh, first time you watched me? Well, welcome, Terry. I go live every Monday for on uh, YouTube for Lori, and I'm always doing door hangers. That's my thing. All right, so this is my vision. I really don't know if I want to do this yet because I don't know how dry this is. So I'm thinking that this would go on top over here. I have this too, and I bet you that I can. Haha, -ha, I knew I could pull some of this apart. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm in love already. Okay. Avery, what? can you go get me zip ties? Please, just a one white one. I don't even have any white ones anymore. Will you check? Mom, do you have any white ones anymore? I'm using them all for the one um, thing I have can, Okay, can you just go get me a zip tie? Okay, I'm gonna get you a light blue one. Or black. Okay, so I'm just kind of bunching these up. Sorry, YouTube, you guys can't see me. Facebook can see me, but YouTube can't. All right, so I am just kind of bunching these up and gonna bend them. And then I'm gonna take a zip tie and zip tie this. And then I'm gonna stick it right up here like this. And I'm gonna put a bow over it. How cute is that gonna be? Like that. And then... Not a big bow, just a tiny bow. Welcome-ish, actually. Yeah, like that. Oh my gosh. Now I don't want to sell it. I want to keep it for myself. <laughs> okay, let me show you guys on Facebook what this looks like. So it says welcome-ish. Uh -oh. Depends on who you are and how long you're staying. That's not, that's not a zip tie. Okay, I know where they're at. I like that. I just know. You're gonna add some glitter maybe? Nope. Nothing? No, we're gonna keep it just like that. All right, well that's everything for painting wise. I need to let this dry and then co uh, do a clear coat over it. It's so wet, especially right here. Look at that. It's still wet. So I don't want to make you guys sit here and wait for this to dry. Um, so I will post pictures of what this looks like completed over on Lori's Facebook channel, Facebook page. And then I will also have her post a story or a short here on YouTube so you guys can see it. Um, so make sure you guys follow Lori on Heart Hardworking Mom on Facebook so you guys can see our finished stuff. Um, again, this kit is located in the shop. It does not include any of the paint, um, but it does have all the finished wood pieces and then paint. This project could probably cost a total of like 35 bucks or so, depending on if you already have the paint. I only used black, brown, and white. How did I come to work with Lori? Okay, so I used to own Lemon Drop Reef Shop and I was inside Lori's business group and I really enjoyed crafting and everything and I turned it into a really good business. Except for I fell in love with the back end of business. So like marketing and social media and things like that. So that's what I do for Lori. I'm her CMO. So I post all the Facebook posts. I do um, a lot of things inside her business group. And I just, she lost her virtual assistant. And one day I messaged her saying, hey, I'm making career change. Can I be your VA for a little bit? So you hire somebody else. And here we are four years later. She never hired anybody else. <laughs> so I'm super blessed. I love working with Lori. She's been amazing for me and my family. And she's the best boss ever. So yes, long story short, I was in her business group, had a really good business. And then I was doing virtual assistant on the side. So I had last year, I had 13 clients and then Lori offered me full time with her. So I accepted that. And so here we are. And then I just paint the door hangers for fun, and then I give them away as Christmas gifts. 
sometimes I get lucky and have people that pay for them. Otherwise, I usually just give them away after I paint them. But I like painting them so I can show you guys. I told her if we could have enough people interested, maybe we could do like a monthly kit and then that you guys could come on and watch me paint it and then you guys would be able to paint your own monthly kit. I thought that would be a really fun thing to do. So, All right, guys. Everybody, you guys all have a good night on Facebook over there and then YouTube. Thank you guys for all for being here and watching paint night. I will see you guys next Monday. I think we're going to do, let me show you. I have two options. We can do a happy St. Patrick's Day or we can do life better at the beach. So I have life's better at the beach or we can do a happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, watch the poll over on Facebook because I usually do a poll that everyone's interested in and then we go from there. So beach was uh, the second option for tonight. So maybe we'll do the beach one for next Monday. Okay. I'll see you guys next Monday at 630.